Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hey there, clean energy enthusiasts. Welcome back to Renee Energy's YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been flying under the radar but is set to make a massive impact on the hydrogen economy. That's right, we're talking about green ammonia, the unsung hero that's about to take center stage. Buckle up, because we're about to unpack why this compound could be the key to unlocking the full potential of the hydrogen revolution. Section 1, What is Green Ammonia? Let's start with the basics. Ammonia, that pungent compound you might remember from chemistry class, is typically made from hydrogen and nitrogen. Now, green ammonia takes this a step further. It's produced using hydrogen from renewable sources, that's where the green comes in. But here's the kicker. Ammonia is much easier to store and transport than hydrogen. It liquefies at a much higher temperature and requires less pressure. This means we can move large amounts of energy around the globe in the form of ammonia, then crack it back into hydrogen where it's needed. It's like nature's own hydrogen carrier. The production process is pretty fascinating. It starts with water electrolysis powered by renewable energy, think wind, solar, or hydro. This gives us our green hydrogen. Then, we combine this hydrogen with nitrogen from the air using the Haber-Bosch process. Voila! We've got green ammonia. Now, you might be wondering, why go through all this trouble? Why not just use the hydrogen directly? Great question. And that leads us to our next point. Section 2, The Storage and Transport Game Changer. One of the biggest challenges in the hydrogen economy has been moving hydrogen from where it's produced to where it's needed. Hydrogen is notoriously tricky to transport, it's the smallest molecule in the universe and has a knack for escaping containment. To give you an idea, to transport hydrogen, we need to either compress it to extremely high pressures, like 700 bar, or cool it to a mind-boggling minus 253 degrees Celsius to liquefy it. That's seriously cold, folks, we're talking colder than the dark side of the moon. Enter green ammonia. It can be stored and shipped using existing infrastructure, we're talking about the same tanks and ships used for liquefied natural gas. This means we can leverage billions of dollars of existing infrastructure to jumpstart the hydrogen economy. Talk about a head start. Ammonia liquefies at a much more manageable minus 33 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure. That's still cold, but it's a walk in the park compared to liquid hydrogen. And here's a fun fact, we already ship about 20 million tons of ammonia around the world each year. We know how to handle this stuff. Section 3, the energy storage potential. But wait, there's more. Green ammonia isn't just about transport, it's also a fantastic energy storage medium. Think about those times when the wind isn't blowing, or the sun isn't shining. We need ways to store that renewable energy for when we need it. Green ammonia could be the answer. We can use excess renewable energy to produce ammonia, store it for long periods, and then use it to generate electricity when needed. It's like a giant, clean battery for the grid. And unlike some other storage solutions, ammonia doesn't degrade over time. Store it for a day or a year, it's all the same to ammonia. Let's put this into perspective. A typical lithium-ion battery might store about half a megawatt hour per ton. Ammonia? It packs a whopping 3 megawatt hours per ton. That's 6 times the energy density. And unlike batteries, ammonia doesn't lose its charge over time. This long-term storage capability is crucial for managing seasonal variations in renewable energy production. Imagine producing ammonia during the sunny summer months, then using it to generate electricity during the dark winter. That's the kind of flexibility that could make 100% renewable grids a reality. Section 4, Decarbonizing Agriculture. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Ammonia isn't just useful for energy, it's also a crucial component in fertilizers. In fact, about 80% of ammonia production today goes into fertilizers. By switching to green ammonia, we're not just supporting the hydrogen economy, we're also decarbonizing agriculture. It's a double whammy for sustainability. Imagine farms powered by the same green ammonia that's fertilizing their crops. 
That's the kind of circular economy that gets sustainability experts excited. Let's crunch some numbers. The ammonia industry currently accounts for about 1.8% of global CO2 emissions. That's more than the entire aviation industry. By switching to green ammonia, we could eliminate these emissions entirely. And remember, this isn't just about energy, it's about food production. We're talking about greening up one of the most fundamental human activities. But it doesn't stop there. Green ammonia could also power farm equipment. We're already seeing prototypes of ammonia-powered tractors. Imagine a farm where the fertilizer, the energy, and the fuel all come from the same sustainable source. That's not just a farm, that's a glimpse into a sustainable future. Section 5, The Maritime Game Changer. Let's set sail for another exciting application, maritime transport. Shipping is one of the hardest sectors to decarbonize, but green ammonia could be the solution we've been waiting for. Several major shipping companies are already exploring ammonia-powered ships. It's more energy-dense than batteries, easier to handle than hydrogen, and can use much of the existing fueling infrastructure. We could be looking at a future where giant cargo ships crisscross the oceans, powered by nothing but air, water, and renewable electricity. The numbers here are staggering. The shipping industry accounts for about 2.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. If it were a country, it would be the sixth largest emitter in the world. Green ammonia could slash these emissions to near zero. And it's not just about emissions. Ammonia-powered ships could actually be more efficient than current diesel engines. Some studies suggest that ammonia fuel cells could achieve efficiencies of up to 60%, compared to about 45% for the best diesel engines. That's a game changer for an industry where fuel efficiency is everything. Section 6, Beyond Transport and Agriculture. The potential applications of green ammonia go far beyond what we've discussed so far. Let's explore a few more exciting possibilities. 1. Power generation. Ammonia can be burned directly in turbines to generate electricity. 1. Several power companies are already testing ammonia co-firing in coal plants as a way to reduce emissions. 2. Industrial heat. Many industrial processes require high temperature heat that's hard to decarbonize. 2. Ammonia combustion could provide this heat without the carbon emissions. 3. Residential fuel cells. In Japan, there are already pilot projects using ammonia and residential fuel cells for combined heat and power. 4. Rocket fuel. Yes, you read that right. 4. Ammonia is being explored as a potential fuel for spacecraft. 4. It's less explosive than traditional rocket fuels, making it safer to handle. The versatility of green ammonia is truly remarkable. It's not just a single solution, it's a platform for a whole range of clean energy applications. Section 7, Challenges and Opportunities. Now, it wouldn't be a Rene Energy video if we didn't talk about the challenges. Green ammonia isn't a silver bullet, there are hurdles to overcome. First, we need to scale up renewable energy production significantly to make green ammonia viable on a large scale. We're talking about a massive increase in wind and solar capacity. But hey, that's a challenge we need to tackle anyway for the clean energy transition. We also need to improve the efficiency of the ammonia production process. The current Haber-Bosch process is energy intensive. Researchers are working on more efficient catalysts and even biological production methods using engineered bacteria. Exciting stuff. There's also the challenge of developing better cracking technologies to turn ammonia back into hydrogen efficiently. Current methods are still quite energy intensive. Safety is another consideration. Ammonia is toxic if not handled properly. But here's the thing, we've been producing and handling ammonia safely for over a century. We know how to do this, we just need to scale it up and ensure proper safety protocols are in place. These challenges are also opportunities. For innovators, entrepreneurs, and forward-thinking companies, green ammonia represents a massive new market. We're talking about potentially replacing a significant portion of the world's liquid fuels, that's a multi-trillion dollar opportunity. Conclusion. So there you have it, folks. Green ammonia, the unsung hero of the hydrogen economy. It's the Swiss Army knife of the clean energy world, a transport solution, an energy storage medium, a fertilizer, and a fuel, all rolled into one. As we've seen, green ammonia has the potential to solve some of the biggest challenges facing the hydrogen economy. It could be the key to unlocking global trade in renewable energy, decarbonizing agriculture and shipping, and providing long-term, large-scale energy storage. From powering ships and tractors to fertilizing crops and generating electricity, green ammonia offers a versatile, efficient, and clean alternative to fossil fuels. 
It's not just about reducing emissions, it's about reimagining our entire energy system. Sure, there are challenges to overcome. But that's what makes this space so exciting. We're on the cusp of a green ammonia revolution, and the opportunities are enormous. For those willing to innovate and push boundaries, the potential rewards are huge. As we move towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, green ammonia could play a crucial role in bridging the gap between our current energy systems and a fully renewable future. It's a technology that works with what we have now while paving the way for what's to come. If you're as excited about this as we are, and you want to dive deeper into the world of green hydrogen and its applications, don't forget to check out our comprehensive green hydrogen development and financing course at reneenergy.com. We've just added a whole new module on green ammonia. Remember, the future of energy is green, and it might just smell faintly of ammonia. Stay curious, stay informed, and let's build a cleaner, greener world together. Until next time, this is Renee Energy, bringing you the latest in clean energy innovations. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.